I try to get the word out because I know our water systems are failing and they're gonna start failing bad all over. I can't sleep at night because of how the place I chose to live is going to affect my children's lives forever. Recently I've been living like a third world country person without water. We are back on Detroit water, but the leach that was left over from the Flint River and the system that we have now is currently breached in several places around the city. My life's been forever changed because of this. It has affected me so bad that I'm trying to move. I was one of those firm believers, I'm not gonna pay for water, you know, in a bottle because I get it free out of a tap. So that was the water I drank. And now we're forced to drink it out of a bottle. And now, you know, it's gonna come to the point where they're, they're gonna stop with the donations. They're gonna stop sending, you know, free water our way. And with Flint having the poverty that they do have, you know, people aren't gonna be able to afford to buy bottled water. We don't do any of our dishes here. We don't do any of our laundry, we don't take any showers, we don't take any baths. You know, some people can't even bathe in it. You know, they get, they're breaking out in hives and rashes and welts and skin and hair falling out. Even if the city is saying that the water is safe at this point, I don't trust them enough to allow my children to have any contact with the water whatsoever. Hopefully they find a solution and the city will continue with its resilience and stand up and stay. All of us as a whole are Flintstones. We're one people and we fight back and we don't back down. <laughs>